This video tutorial is on the use of the vocal reduction technology. And as the label implies, this is vocal reduction. It is not vocal elimination. And what you need to understand is that this function is song dependent, meaning that on some songs it works fairly well and on other songs it doesn't work um, almost at all. And that's really a function of the song and how it was mixed and mastered in the studio. And also, generally speaking, what we can say is that it seems to work better on older songs where there are fewer tracks and less sophisticated mixing techniques. That's not always the case, of course. We've seen it work very well on some of the newer songs. But generally speaking, that's the trend that we see. To use the vocal reduction, you simply click this button and it opens this little dialogue and um, there is no right or wrong place here but generally we suggest that you start somewhere in the middle it goes to 256 so the middle would be around 128 to 130 so we would s suggest that you start there and then um, grab a hold of this and slowly drag it uh, you know down or up and just see what effect that has and and you'll have to experiment with it to find what is an optimal setting for your particular song one of the things that commonly happens when you use vocal reduction is that it decreases the overall volume of the entire song. So you may find that you need to increase the volume um, as you're using vocal reduction to be able to hear what's going on. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is that when you use vocal reduction, you might also consider using EQ at the same time because the EQ changes uh, which frequencies are going to be heard more prominently or less prominently simply by dragging these sliders up and down. So when you use it in conjunction with the vocal reduction, you'll find that together sometimes you can get better results than you can with the vocal reduction alone. The third and the last thing that you should consider when you use vocal reduction is the uh, panning of the left and the right speakers because in some cases when you play with these and turn one off and one on what you'll find is that um, the vocal track is more prominent on one uh, rather than the other and so if you can turn off the vocal track and have pri have primarily or predominantly the instrumental track playing that's going to help your overall success in eliminating the vocals so that's going to conclude this video tutorial. Thanks.